used to love it, but I used to love it more. FaceTime with my shorty on tour. And she texting purple hearts, cause she know that we a war, yeah. Niggas keep reaching and dissing. Can't afford mistakes and I don't listen. Let me call my bros for assistance. You gon' make me call my bros. Dude, J. King Squad, we are back with another reaction video. Today we're about to react to Joyner Lucas Frozen. Now, no, for a lot of you, no. Stranger Things. That was fire. But will this bring the heat right here? Because I can't wait for that joint album that Joyner Lucas and Chris Brown joined together to make Angels and Demons album. <laughs> that better be fire. That better have, you know, at least, probably at least like 24. Because, you know, Chris Brown, he do a lot. You know, after, you know, doing 45 tracks of uh, Heartbreak on a Full Moon, it was crazy. Then he had Cuffing, Cuffing Season Edition, which was 12 more songs added to that Heartbreak of Full Moon. And that was crazy right there. So, you know. And Chris Brown is popping right now. We already been knew that he's popping, but you know, last year he was popping with all them tracks. Now he's popping some more with more tracks. But you know, he brought along, you know, Jordan Lucas. But it's it's Jordan Lucas time to shine right here, cause you know he's been spitting out some more good remixes and you know a whole bunch of crap. He's he's he he stay woke. He stay woke. He's not dead. He's 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 rising up. So let's get into it. Damn, this is not alright. How the fuck I end up on the other side of life? No more hanging with my friends, no more riding bikes. No more brushing Barbie's hair, no more flying kites, no more school. No more learning from me, no more youth, no more juice. No more hula hoops or Susie Q's, wish I could kiss my mama by. And if she ever seen me like this, she'd be traumatized. No, this is not alright, but nothing is I barely got to live, I'm just a kid Look at me, look what you fucking did, I'm fucking dead Oh my gosh, bro From the from the beginning of this, you know, this girl on the, you know, the concrete And she's bleeding and all that stuff I, I can tell, you know, this visionary is going to be, you know, really sincere And really on the thoughts of, you know, the kid and what she's thinking right now after being in this accident and everything. This this telling by Jordan Lucas is gonna hit home right here, but you know. Let's, let's get into it more. This is crazy. No, this wasn't even my fault. Now I'm speaking with the lights off. I don't think they hear me. It ain't no more TV, no more dancing. No more sleepovers or no candy, no more camping. No more kisses from my daddy, cause I left and died. All because this stupid bitch wanted to text and drive. <laughs> Oh, that that's a message right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Cause a lot of people that text and drive, and you uh, know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I be doing it sometimes too, you know, and I'm not supposed to be doing it, but at the same time, don't don't text and drive. I I you may look at your phone at the sometimes, but you know, you need to drive constantly and drive with precaution because there's gonna be little kids out there that's gonna try to chase a ball and you hit them and call casualty to their life and suddenly have them dead. That's going to be really some stuff to think about because people don't really understand the ways of driving. Driving is a one task thing. It's not multitask. Sure, you can have music. Sure, you can have, you know, food and everything. But texting, that, that's a multitasking thing. And, and a lot of people don't understand that you could cause somebody life just by texting and driving just sending one message hi it could be an end of a, a certain person's life and that's crazy pieces oil leaking dripping gasoline doors open windows broken glass shattered dreams 
Holy Bibles, open beer bottles at the scene. Now look at us. No more coming home for work and cooking dinner for my man. No more praying for my sins. No more stunting on the gram. No more Thanksgiving holidays or pictures with the fam. No more vacation plans. They're everywhere I've never been. It's all gone now. Look what you did. Damn. I should have never got inside your car. I should have stayed home and just went shopping at a different store. I should have waited or just caught an Uber, but I live too far. No more tantrums. It ain't no more questions, no more answers. No more homework with my daughter, no more second chances. No more baby in my belly, sad to say we died. All because you choose to drink and drive. Why? For challenges and different thrills Open alleys while I'm speeding That shit gives me chills Hitting corners riding fast And that shit's really real My mama always said If I don't chill That shit gonna get me killed It's too late I'll say goodbye No more driving reckless Thinking I won't pay the price No more taking life for granted I just wasted minds Oh my god I just died trying to raise some <sighs> safe jacoby shut up jacoby be quiet i'm trying to do a freaking sincere music video reaction to it oh my gosh get over here get your buddy now i don't know why you're oh man that stuff right there was oh my gosh it, it's it's very speechless. I I really don't have really much to go and say on, but honestly, that's a lot lot to take in. First, you have the daughter who's killed by you know a person that's texting and driving. Then another person who was under the influence of drinking. I don't know if she was on the passenger side or what, but she died. And and had and she was pregnant too at the same time, so they both died at the same time. Then another guy that was driving in anger over something and felt like he needed to take his life for some some reason and was driving reckless and ended up killing himself. And all after all that, it became like a dream to the texting and driving, to the drinking and driving, and driving reckless and driving with anger. That Not a lot of people know that if you're driving with anger, that, that causes a lot for you to almost nearly die because you don't know what you're doing. And it comes back to, you know, realizing, for me, realizing all this right here. So, you know, think before I do something. I could be texting or driving and not reg not really thinking that, oh, well, you know, if I text, you know, who, who's going to watch me? Who's, it's a 50 percent chance that I'm going to hit somebody, but at the same time, I'm supposed to let myself know that I need to put my phone down and wait for that call or next text or anything wait till you go to point B or point point A to point B and come back feeling like oh yeah well you know I didn't text or anything I didn't drink or anything I didn't drive mad or anything cuz all that stuff that's 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 distractions right there distractions of what you need to do which is driving driving safe so you won't have to kill anybody 
And a lot of people don't understand that. Just because you have a car doesn't mean you can be indestructible in life. That's the main thing. You can't you can't just disregard on anything. Well, I have this car, you know, and there won't be any consequences. There will be consequences if you abuse those. It's <sighs> man. I want to go in lot on it, on it, but it's just it's just too hard to say because you know. You have the responsibility of a car, and there will be have there will be consequences to your actions if you do, and abuse those rules around them. If that make any sense, and a lot of people abuse those rulings, because you're not supposed to text and drive. You're not supposed to drink and drive, because they will kill somebody. And going from this music video that. Joyner Lucas show it's a lot and the bars that hit every note of saying well you know what's going in my mind right now as I'm dying and losing my life of everything while I did what I just did a lot of people don't think they just do that's the one thing that you have to think about in this music video you're supposed to think before you do. You might have a, you might do a casualty to somebody else. You might do damage to your own self. You just need to drive safe, so you won't kill yourself. So man, like and comment below on what your thoughts is, because you know that's crazy and that's really, really an eye opener to people. I'm glad that um Jordan Lucas brought this message to so, so many things. It was it was it, it hit home. Just like, you know, I am not racist. That hit home too. This right here is an eye opener for people that disregard rules of driving on the road. Just drive safe, man. And subscribe to the squad if you haven't been. Make sure you hit that notification bell because, you know, I will be doing more reaction videos. But, man, I'm going to say it's just drive safe. Because there's a lot of people out there that value their lives and cherish their lives. Because if you kill one person, it affects many people that was connected to, to them, a family member that you just l lost and without even knowing. So remember guys, give it your all or lose it all. Love y'all.